Detroit police now believe the same men are responsible for three carjackings and attempted carjackings within a span of 45 minutes across Detroit and Highland Park. In fact, all three happened at gas stations. Two of those gas stations are equipped with green light cameras. Coco McAvoy is live on the city's west side tonight where those cameras got a really good look at these guys. Coco? Yes, good evening to both of you. This BP gas station on West 8 Mile Road in Detroit was the first gas station targeted in that crime spree. But as you mentioned, this gas station has good surveillance cameras that captured that brazen incident. A string of carjackings in Detroit earlier this week has police on high alert. They're looking for this man, seen on camera clear as day and believed to be involved. We had uh, three incidences that happened within about a 45 minute period. This surveillance video shows the first carjacking from Wednesday night. It happened at around 1145 at a BP gas station on West 8 Mile Road. A man appeared to be working on his charger when a Tahoe pulls up and another man with a gun approaches. Obviously you could see he had a weapon that had some type of a flashlight that was attached to it. The driver and a woman walk away with a baby. Then 20 minutes later, another carjacking in Highland Park. The suspects took a blue charger that time and that blue charger shows up to a third gas station on West Seven Mile Road and pulls up next to a Challenger. You can see a barrel of a long gun. Uh, we're assuming some type of assault rifle that was pointed out the window. The suspect points a gun at the driver of the Challenger. The driver takes off running and the suspect didn't end up taking his car. After that third incident, the crime spree ended for the night. No rhyme or reason why they did three that particular night and then haven't done any subsequently. Now police need your help tracking down the man in this video and anyone else who may be involved. And the good news is no one was injured in any of the carjackings. But if you know anything about what happened or you recognize the man in the surveillance video, you're asked to call the Detroit Police Department. Back to you. And Coco, what about the cars in this case? Have either one of those cars been found? Yes, so the Detroit Police Department did say they found the car in the first incident, that silver charger, but the blue charger from the second incident in Highland Park has not yet been recovered. Yeah, all right, certainly crystal clear video. Thank you so much, Coco.